everyone, so now that it's November, it's time to do an October favorites. And I am sorry this is just a little bit late because I've been super, super busy lately. So um, I figured it'd be better, you know, late than never. But I do have some good products to share with you this month, so I'm really, really excited. Um, and I also, I feel like I haven't done a video in a really long time. And it's just nice to sit down and talk to you guys again because... I don't know what my problem has been lately. I apologize. Um, I haven't been doing as many videos as I've been wanting to, but um, I'm really glad that today I was able to do one. So um, I'm going to go ahead and start you guys off with some of these products because I feel like I'm just going to start talking and talking if not. So I'm just going to um, show you some of the makeup products first. And then I also have a lot of like hair products this month, which... Normally I don't. Um, it's usually all makeup, but so I'm excited to show you those. But anyways, the first product is a blush, and I have been loving this blush pretty much all of October. I've been wearing it to school every day, and this is by Mac, and it's um, this one's called Margin, and it's a frost, and it looks like this. It's just a really pretty kind of like tannish color. Um, it's got like an orangey kind of pearl to it with some gold shimmers. Um, let's see if you can see that. It's really, really pretty. So I have been wearing this every day, and I just feel like it goes really nicely with my skin tone. And um, this would probably look good on everyone. Um, I really like it because I have that kind of medium skin tone, so I think it looks really good um, with my coloring and everything. So great blush for every day. It's nothing too drastic or anything like that, so it's great. And I think it has a lot of the pretty color tones for fall and stuff so that's been great too okay and then another face product since it's fall I feel like my skin gets a little bit dull um, this time of year because it starts getting a little bit drier than normal actually um, in the summer it's usually really oily so I don't really use like highlighting products but now I I do feel like my skin's been a little bit duller is duller a word I'm really not sure more dull but um I really like using this. It's a highlight. And this is the Benefit 10 powder. I probably should have showed you that first. But anyways, you open it up and it has a little mirror, which I really like. But um, you can use this for a highlight and a contour at the same time. You can just take the brush and swipe it and it does the highlight and contour. But actually, I really like my other bronzer for contouring. So I don't really use the bronzer side. Although it does work great. But um, I really, really like this highlight. So it's just a really light color like that, and I just put it like on my cheekbones. You can use your finger, you can use a brush. I usually use just a little fluffy brush and just run it along my cheekbones and down my nose a little bit. And I do like this because it is a powder, so it's great if you have oily skin. Um, I've tried some highlighters where they're more of like a cream consistency, and then you put it on, and throughout the day it just kind of melts off my skin and it doesn't look good. So I really, really like that that one is a highlight. Okay, so I have a couple more makeup products, and these ones, oh my goodness, I'm in love with these, and I recently showed them in a haul video. So, um, if you can tell my lip color, I don't know if it's still kind of dark right now, um, I've been wearing it for like an hour or two now, so it might have rubbed off a little bit, but this is the MAC lipstick, it's called Viva Glam, I believe it's number 6, I'll show you, it's that one. And um, I recently got this, probably mid-October, I want to say. So um, I've been wearing it, oh my goodness, all the time since. And I'm not even a huge lipstick person, but I'm in love with this. So this is what it looks like. It is a luster, so it's kind of, um, the consistency is a little bit more, it's not like glossy, but it's a little bit more smooth than like a matte or something. So if you can see that, um, it's kind of like a brownish, I don't know, it looks like it would be really dark, but it comes off just like a beautiful natural color, but it is a little bit deeper, so I think it's perfect for fall. And honestly, if I would have just looked at this, I would have never picked it up because it looks like it's going to be so dark. But the lady recommended that I try it, and I ended up loving it, and it's not, like you can totally pull it off, and I absolutely love it. And I like filming videos in it because I feel like it makes my lips stand out. I just like the way it looks. I absolutely love it. And then, of course, I got the gloss to go over top. So this is just the same one. And um, it's one of their lip glasses. Yeah. 
So I really, really like those, and I'm wearing both of them right now so you can see what they look like. Um, I really, really recommend those, though, if you're looking for, like, a new lip color, kind of something more bold to try. Um, but that's still really wearable, um, so I really, really like that a lot. And then I believe I mentioned this in one of my last favorite favorites videos. Um, I'm not exactly sure, but this has been my favorite mascara for the month. It's the L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes Mascara. And this is what the brush looks like. Try to get it so that it focuses. I think that's focused. So I really, really like the brush on that. I feel like it really defines all of my lashes. Um, and it doesn't clump a lot like a lot of mascaras do. So I like that a lot. And of course it's from the drugstore, so it's very inexpensive. And I love drugstore mascaras. I never... I've only had one mascara that was from Sephora that I really liked, and so I bought it, you know, but I, I've gone back to drugstore mascaras because they're just so much cheaper, and they're so, like, they work just the same. Like, they're just as great. Okay, so that was actually all of the makeup. I feel like usually I have a ton of makeup, but um, I've really been kind of boring with my look, you know, this whole month. Now that I'm in school, I feel like I just put on whatever, like, convenient in the morning, whatever is sitting on my counter I put on. Um, my cat is trying to get my makeup. Hi, baby. Hi. Um, so yeah, I've been wearing, like, the same eyeshadow look and the same blush and the same lips every day, pretty much. Um, I've just been kind of lazy. Okay, but anyways, I have one nail polish that I love. Um, I've been wearing this a lot. This is from Essie, and it's called So Psyched, and it's like a grayish kind of green color. I'm wearing it right now, and it doesn't really match my outfit, but um, I figured I would paint my nails anyway. And I just painted them like 10 minutes ago, so they're really like sloppy. They're not even good, but um, yeah, it's kind of like a grayish green. I think it's really unique, and it's one of those colors that would kind of look ugly, but it looks really cool and unique on your fingers, so I like it. And then, um, this is a perfume. It's one of those, what are these called? Roller balls. I couldn't think of the name. Um, this is from Coach, and it's the Coach Poppy perfume. And this is the original Coach Poppy. And then this one is the Coach Poppy flower, the, like, pinkish purple one. And then the orange one is the original. And you guys know I'm in love with my Coach Poppy perfume. I have the full-size one of this one. And, um... Sorry, my cats are going crazy. Um, but I really, this is my favorite perfume in the whole entire world. So it's nice to, like, keep this in my makeup bag in my purse so that if I want to um, put this on, you know, to kind of, like, refresh in, if I feel like, refresh, refresh in, I don't know, if, if I feel like it's, like, coming off of me or something. Or if I... I don't know, if I just feel like I need a little bit more, I have this in my bag. But also I like this because I got to try the new Poppy one without like buying a full size one. Because I knew I wasn't going to use up the full size one because I already have the other one. But it is nice to try this once in a while, so I do like the other one as well. And this was like $20 or something, so I figured I would pick it up. And it does come in handy. Um, so I recommend getting, you know, your favorite scent in a rollerball or something. Or it's nice if you want to try a new perfume but you're kind of scared and you don't want to buy the full size. Then you can just try it out with that. Um, so I really, really like that one. And I thought it was a good deal because you do get both perfumes to try. So I love that. Okay, and then this isn't really like a makeup or beauty item. But this has been, oh my goodness, I've been in love with this all month. I also showed this in my most recent haul video and honestly you guys, I am obsessed. It's the Leaves Candle from Bath and Body Works and this candle just sums up fall for me. Um, it is absolutely amazing. Oh, I love it so much. I've been burning this like crazy. Like, I mean it's already probably, it's almost halfway gone. I've been burning it every time I take a bath or every time I want to just lay in bed and read a book or something, I've been burning this. And I have a lot of candles, but I never really go through them. Like, I'll burn them once in a while or, or I just have them sitting on my dresser just to kind of look pretty, but I never actually use them, like, a lot. But this one, I've been noticing I've been burning it like crazy. Okay, I didn't know how to explain it last time, but I guess they had a description on the bottom and I didn't realize that. So it says, um, it's golden nectar, juicy mandarin, and red delicious apple blend with toasted cinnamon, 
mulled cider, and freshly harvested berries. So, I don't know about you guys, but that pretty much sums up fall for me, and it just smells so perfect for fall. So I'm in love. I definitely recommend you guys to go get this, or at least go smell it if you like these kind of scents. Um, because I think it is like a limited edition type thing for the fall time, so I might actually go get another one, like before they run out because I'm gonna wanna like burn it after I finish that one. I also got it in the wallflower so it makes my room smell really really good. Okay and then I have three more products and then I'm done. These are all hair products and I've been going through a really weird like hair funk I guess lately. Um, I've been growing it out and it has been getting pretty long. Um, I really want it down like I don't know how far I really, I want it like down to like here or so. I want it to be pretty long and it's been taking me a while but I'm trying, I'm trying to like take the best care of it that I can so that it's healthy and it just looks nice once I get it to that point because I know a lot of times when you grow your hair out really long and by the way I have really thin hair so it can kind of look straggly and kind of gross when you get it really long. So like I said I've been trying to take the best care of it that I can and so a couple of my favorite products that I've been loving. This one I have mentioned so many times in my videos. I love this. It's called It's a 10, and this is actually the one for like October for like breast cancer awareness. So um, I got this. I must have gotten it in October. Um, but I've used this like for years, and I absolutely love it. This is probably like my third or fourth bottle of these. But it's called a Miracle Leave In product, and it does a lot of different things for your hair. It repairs dry damaged hair, it adds shine, it detangles, it controls your frizz, um, it makes it like really silky and helps prevent split ends. Like I could go on and on. Um, it has a list of like a bunch of different things that it does. And it's like how can a hair product do all of those things? But honestly when I use this, my hair just feels so much better. I haven't been using it for the last couple days. Like I used it today and it, it felt so much better than it had the last couple days because I actually couldn't find like where I put it or whatever so um, I found it today and I used it and my hair feels so much better today so I really really do love that and I definitely recommend it. It can be kind of pricey. I, I just get the little one because it's the least expensive but it's definitely well worth the money in my opinion. Okay and then a couple other products this one is from Pureology, and I recently got this, so I haven't been using it for too, too long. Um, this is from the Pure Volume line, and it's a thickening mist. So like I said, I have very thin hair, and I'm trying to grow it out, and I want to give it that body, but as it's getting longer, it's starting to get a little bit more flat, I guess you could say. Um, and this just gives it like that texture, so when I touch it, it doesn't feel like it's like super, super thin. I don't know, and it helps give it... A little bit of body. I don't know. I just really like it. And I can tell a difference when I use that as well. Okay. And then this one has been saving my butt. Because when I walk around campus, my hair feels disgusting. Like, just when I'm outside in general. Because the wind and stuff, it just makes your hair feel, I don't know. It just feels gross. So I use this. And this is the Pureology Shine Max. It just makes your hair smooth and really really silky and um, it doesn't make my hair like go crazy when I go outside um, it just keeps it all the shine and all the like frizz locked down so that it doesn't get all crazy when you go outside so I really really like those and then actually I do want to mention one more product that I don't have in front of me so I'm going to go grab that and then talk to you guys about it because I definitely think that I should share it with you so I will be right back I'm going to go get it Okay, so I kind of forgot about this product because it was sitting in my shower and it wasn't like out where I could see it. So I just remembered about it and this is another hair product. So I'm sorry that this favorites video is like, there's a lot of hair products. Um, so I'm sorry about that. But maybe if some of you are trying to grow your hair out or something, this will help you. So um, this is the Aussie 3 Minute Miracle. It's like a deep conditioner. A deep conditioner, honestly, you guys. Um, this is what it looks like and it's got a little pump so all you have to do is like squeeze it and it just comes out so you don't need like a cap or anything so it's really really nice I really like it um, but with this 
I've been, like, my hair is starting to feel, like, it started to feel, like, straw almost at one point because it's getting long and I need to get the ends trimmed off and stuff, so I need to get that taken care of. But, um, also I get my hair highlighted and that causes a lot of damage on my hair and I'm aware of that. So I'm kind of doing everything I can because I don't, I've been thinking about, like, going brown or going a little bit darker and I... I don't know. I just, I can't do it, at least not right now. I just really, really like having blonde hair, I guess. I've just had it ever since I was younger. And then as I grew up, it started to get darker and darker and darker. So I've been having to get highlights to kind of brighten it back up. Um, so I just feel like myself when I have blonde hair. And I know that if I dye it brown, I just, I, I won't feel like me. Um... I don't know, so I haven't had the guts to do it, but we'll see. But anyway, so since I do get it highlighted, that's a lot of damage to your hair. So I have to use this about, I use it around probably once a week. And this really, really helps. Like, it's amazing. And you can use it overnight if you want, or you can just leave it in. Um, I think it tells you to use it for, well, three minutes because it's the three-minute miracle. But I usually leave it in for about five minutes. And then I rinse it out and your hair feels amazing and so soft and so shiny. So I really recommend this. It's amazing. And if you have dry hair, oh my goodness, you need to dry that. Um, but I'm starting to run out of memory on my camera, so I should probably cut this off. And those were all of the products. So I hope you enjoyed my, um, my favorites of October and I hope you got some recommendations. If you want to leave your October favorites in the video responses below, then go ahead. I would love to watch those. Um... Also, I want to do an updated, like, everyday hair routine, but um, I'm waiting until I get my roots touched up because they're really bad right now, um, and I need to get it trimmed before I do that. And I think that's all. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment and subscribe, and um, I also want to mention, you guys can follow me on Twitter if you want. I never mention this in videos, but I always have the link right in the information bar down below um, of this video. So go ahead and follow me. And then, okay, I guess I will talk to you guys in my next video. Have a great week, and thank you so much for watching. Bye.